Yeah. And uh, Mary Ann has a, a question that having to do with trusts and LLCs. So I know you'll love this one. Lease option with a seller. I can't buy in a land trust. I think you said you don't need an LLC to use when lease optioning from a seller. What do we use? I think you said we don't need an LLC. Well, what I'm not clear, Marianne, about what you mean that you can't buy in a land trust. What uh, the seller has at, if you're going to lease option from the seller, what the seller has is the deed to the property. What you want to do with that seller is to create a situation where you can get the deed when you want to exercise your option to buy. So what I suggest is that that deed, the seller's deed be placed in escrow. In other words, with the seller's full cooperation, knowledge and consent that they're, they're, they sign a deed, it's placed in escrow with escrow instructions. Marianne, that essentially states that when you do what you said you are going to do, then you can get the deed from this third party. And the reason this is so important, Marianne, is because that, that owner of the property, they could pass away. They could get into a lawsuit. They could, they could have all kinds of issues that could prevent you from getting your deed at the, the appropriate time that you want to exercise your option. For example, when your buyer wants to buy the property, we want to be able to deliver a deed to them. So in my volume nine lease options, and you can go to streetsmartinvestor.com uh, and then pull down the tools menu and look at volume nine lease options. And what you'd be able to find is the whole full system where we have those escrow instructions in there. But Marianne, I would not buy a property on a lease with the option to buy from a seller without that deed going into escrow period.